First look at the Pixel 6 Pro ROM based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Poco F3. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at the Pixel 6 Pro ROM running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Poco F3. So as you can see security patches from September, the kernel they are using is Disrupt Kernel and install video is linked in the description of this video. So this is how the build comes out of the box and if you see on the top left you will notice we have 120. This means that 120 refresh rate is working without any issues. You do have to enable it in settings and display, enable the toggle for smooth display and bam 120 should be working without any issues. Next up you also have your at a glance working without any issues. As you can see I do have the weather if I go into home settings at a glance I can configure what all options I want to see in my at a glance widget. Then you can also go ahead and check out the other widgets which are available you do have the paint chips or the paint tiles widget and once you add this you can share any color using the quick share menu other than that if you go back into the widgets section you do have your five clock widgets which does include a pretty fancy stopwatch and if you go into the google section you do have the new weather widgets as well again for all of this to be working and showing up without any issues make sure you have have enabled all your applications from the Google Play Store. Now while we are talking about the Play Store, a small issue for some of you might be the fact that safety net does not pass out of the box and if you root using Magisk version 23.0 you might end up in a boot loop. You will have to use the latest Canary build and even after that enabling Zygesk, Denialist, I could not get safety net to pass. So if any of you do get safety net to pass, do let me know via comments below. Another deal breaker issue is that if you try to edit any picture in Google Photos, you are stuck at this loading screen. And again, me personally, I could not figure out a resolution for this one as well. And then the last deal breaker issue might be that double tap to wake is broken on this build right now. And before I forget, another issue you might encounter is media lag. Now the fix for that is go ahead and install the firmware for your region. And then the other thing you'll have to do is you can go into settings, apps, default apps, digital assistant application, and here and make sure that voice match is disabled. Because if you enable this, you might get your media lag. And again, another minor issue in this build, which might be a deal breaker for some of you. Next up, let us go into wallpaper and style so you do have the toggle for themed icons you also have a toggle for dark theme this is how your dark theme is going to look like working without any issues we can now go back into wallpapers and style and here in you can of course change your application grid and then if you go into change wallpaper you do have the pixel 6 exclusive bloom static wallpapers you can download the bloom live wallpapers motif wallpapers are also present so the pixel 6 exclusive live wallpapers are present working without any issues let us go ahead and try to change the wallpaper to see if material u is working or not and as you can see there it is material u has kicked in working without any issues any applications which support material u will also use the new accent colors working like a boss then with respect to your recents here it is select working without any issues you can of course share the link and you should also be able to share the image a minor bug which i have noticed is that select does not work first time around so here it is one more try select is not working and if i give it one more try this time around it is going to work next thing we can check is whether system wide search is working or not so here it is let me try to search for something and as you can see system wide search is working you can of course configure what all content you want to see in your system wide search next up let us try to invoke the assistant manually and once we have done that we are going to say interpreter mode there it is interpreter mode has kicked in we can now go ahead and try that out let us choose hindi as the language and it did crash for me the first time hi how are you so as you can see works like a boss 
एकदम बढ़िया चौचक मजा आ गया सो वी वर सेकेंड टाइम लकी इंटरप्रेटर मोड वर्किंग लाइक अ बॉस नेक्स्ट अप लेटर्स गो अड एंड चेक आउट वेदर द फीचर ऑफ वॉइस टाइपिंग एंड योर मैसेजेस इज वर्किंग और नॉट All you need to do is press on this mic icon, give it the permission it wants, and as you can see, it is now listening, typing. Tap on this question mark on the left hand side. You will get a bunch of different commands which are working like a boss on this specific build. And let me try to speak even more faster, more faster, more faster. Pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boo yeah, boo yeah, boo yeah. Stop. Delete. Delete all. Delete all. clear all yep there it is you can see voice typing super dope working like a boss next up as you can see on your screen right now live translate working without any issues of course you do have to enable your live caption and once you enable your live caption you can also go into settings system live translate here then you can download whatever languages you want to once you have downloaded a language go ahead and play any video which you want to and once you do that you should be able to use your live translate without any issues here it is working like a boss while we are in youtube let us also check if if your media playback has any lags any jitters as you can see on your screen right now no lags no jitters everything seems to be working absolutely fine picture in picture animation super cool super dope here it is on your screen once again and of course you can resize this picture in picture with pinch to zoom and you can also move it over to the side in case you want to so youtube media playback no lags no issues no jitters of course again make sure that you have disabled your now playing and in case you have lag issues also disable your okay google keyword next up let us head over to the settings section so this is how the settings is going to look like again everything seems to be pretty smooth so far we can head over to the apps section and here and of course let us go into the chrome application go into permissions go into location you do have a toggle to enable or disable your precise location then you also have a toggle to remove the permissions and free up space if the app is not used for some time once an application is removed it is going to show up in this unused application section game settings or game dashboard is there once you enable the toggle open any game you should get an arrow on the right hand side tap on the arrow tap on the controller bam here it is gaming dashboard in the building optimization is enabled on a per game basis and that is something which the game developer needs to enable for android 12 then you can of course enable your options for the screenshot the fps meter and your screen recorder you do have your do not disturb option as well this pill you can move it around anywhere you want to and it is going to snap to the edges as well going back into settings if you do take a screenshot you should get the option of of capture more here it is extended screenshot use these nubs to select what all content you want to capture the magnification lens effect working without any issues tap on save on the top left and bam screenshot was saved as well next up we can jump over to notifications so of course you do have your per app notification control along with notification history priority conversations and bubbles do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then if you go into battery you of course have your battery usage tap on any of these bars it is going to show you what application used the battery during that specific hour go into battery saver you do have your extreme battery saver and the normal battery saver adaptive battery along with the toggle to enable or disable your battery percentage then if you go into sound and vibration you do have sliders for all the different options which you see on your screen live caption is there and along with live caption you also have now playing again do not enable now playing until and unless you want media lag then you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now and you also have adaptive sound a toggle to enable or disable that and while we are in live caption you also have live caption for your calls you have the option of ask every time always or off now super important thing that for all of these features the pixel 6 pro exclusive features make sure that your language is set as english united states and if that is not the case you will not get most of these features next up we can jump over to the option of display so of course you do have 
have your adaptive brightness working without any issues go into lock screen again do not enable now playing always on display is there works without any issues the animations for always on display super cool super dope double tap to wake and lift to check are broken on this specific build then if you go into screen timeout you do have a toggle to enable or disable the screen attention a toggle to enable your dark theme and you can of course schedule your dark theme based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise then you can change the font size the display size similarly you have night light available again you can schedule it based on time or from sunset to sunrise and you can control the intensity as well using the slider for auto rotate screen you do have a toggle along with a toggle to enable or disable face detection we already checked that 120 is working without any issues on this specific build the next up we have security so with respect to security you only have the option of fingerprint scanner and it works without any issues do note it is touch to unlock you do not have the option of press to unlock and once you update your applications from the play store you are going to get this new ui for your security application as well with respect to the privacy you have your privacy dashboard so herein you can see what all applications have accessed your location camera microphone and all the other options which you see over here then you also have toggles to enable or disable your camera access and microphone access on a system-wide basis along with a toggle to enable or disable your show clipboard access so how do these camera and microphone toggles work let us open the camera go application which is baked into the rom it is going to video mode and here and let us try to record a video now since the video is recording if you access your notifications it will tell you that camera is being used by camera go similarly microphone is being used by camera go now what if i go ahead and disable the microphone access now my notification has changed to only camera is being used by camera go so this is something pretty nifty which google has added with android 12 next up we can head over to the system section in settings here and of course we have covered live translate let us go into gestures quick tap broken swipe fingerprint for notifications broken quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice works go into system navigation you have two different options gestures or three button and then if you are using the gestures you can swipe to invoke the assistant so once you manually invoke the assistant it works absolutely fine then you also have the option to configure the sensitivity for the back gesture for the left edge and the right edge one-handed mode is there and it works without any issues you can of course create a shortcut for one-handed mode as well in case you want to and you can move this shortcut around wherever you feel like doing so next up double tap to wake left to check phone are broken in case you want to press and hold the power button to invoke the assistant you can do that as well as you can see works without any issues how do you turn off your device then you will have to use the option from your quick settings panel if you are using the power menu to invoke the assistant and other than that you also have prevent ringing and here it is you have to press power and volume up together to put the phone either into vibrate or mute now super important thing once you enable hold for assistant by power button this option is going to get disabled because if you press power and volume up now that is another way to turn off your device again that is if you are using the power button to invoke the google assistant then we can go ahead and have a look at the app opening animations to see if you have any lags any jitters while you're using the app opening animations as you can see no jitters no lags recents are absolutely fine as well we can try to access the google feed also again no jitters no lags in the google feed this right now is running at 120 super cool super dope and super smooth let us also try to switch between a few applications and there it is you can see no jitters no lags everything is pretty smooth so what is the final take on this pixel 6 pro rom for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 well there are some niggles there are some bugs which might be deal breakers for some of you but in terms of your pixel 6 pro exclusive features they seem to be working without any issues but again you're not being able to edit pictures the magic eraser feature we cannot check similarly we cannot check for portrait light either and then magisk safety net 
not passing those are pretty big deal breakers so there is definitely some room for improvement but again pretty awesome to see a pixel 6 pro rom working super dope on the mi 11x the redmi k40 or the poco f3 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you